this video I wanted to do, beware when you are partnering with companies, beware when you are partnering with dispatching services, but the thing is, you can just cut ties. So, when you're your own LLC, you are not, unless you sign some weird contract, which I haven't, um, the closest thing I did uh, signing something that I didn't like was a medical carrier position that just seemed too much. But I've heard, somebody commented on one of my videos that you can get a medical, that might have been on Tiki Talkies, I don't remember. You can get medical carriers that aren't like that. But I wanted to just talk about be careful in this cutthroat industry. Because, you know, you got to make sure that they're trustworthy. When you're interviewing, they call it like a partnership interview. I've done with over-the-road places, local places, everywhere I've, you know, messed with when it came to a partnership is, uh, cause I found my own loads on my own at first with brokers, but that shit with cold calls and just constantly, you know, like you still are bidding when you're doing the over-the-road local stuff and figuring out what you want to take, what you don't want to take. So you're still in that process and getting really in, in, in depth into it. My wife even dispatched for a little bit. Um, but anywho, what I'm saying is, you got to you gotta make sure when you're interviewing, that's how I am. I'm interviewing you as well. It's a co-interview. That's how I look at it, and I looked at it that instantly. This ain't going to be like you're sitting there telling me what I'm going to do and what it's going to be like, and I'm going to ask you what it is. Like, you know, it's so funny. And when I had some of them deny me when I was looking for local because of my felonies, my 10 or 12-year-old felonies, they'd say, sorry about that. I said, no, I'm sorry for you guys. I'm a hustler, dude. Like, I said, this was supposed to be a partnership interview. This ain't no, like, oh, sorry about that. I was like, no, uh, we don't sound that Canadian. I don't, we don't say sorry too bad, so whatever. I'm sure people are like, Jesus, this guy's accent. When I lived in Florida, people would joke about my accent. I don't hear it. So, anyways, um, so just be careful, because, yeah, this is a cutthroat industry. And I've heard of people who go through, like, companies that aren't fully legit and getting robbed and going through people on Facebook and getting robbed. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. I mean, do what you want, but <sighs> because there's certain two, there's certain runs that are non-factorable. Factoring. Factoring companies won't work with certain companies and then it can be three, four months till you get money. And like, so you got to make sure you're going with places that actually check their factoring, uh, ability like that they they're factorable so that's what i mean there's a lot to this to where just really when you're when you're talking to partnership type things make sure that you are um really questioning them and the reason we went with dispatching services because at first we were doing our own thing and i was getting a dollar forty dollar sixty a mile um but when you went with factoring or i mean uh dispatching services and stuff it just felt like okay so instead of all that craziness that's why i did it and also because if you're paying all these monthly fees for all these different load boards, like even Selectus you can get on, instead of that, you're getting on Selectus through these services and you're still calling the shots, you know what I mean? So it's like the same thing except you're not putting that $500 monthly into Selectus unless you have a fleet of five, then it's cheaper from what I've heard. But what I'm saying is it seemed almost like the, the same difference of giving the 18% to a dispatching service. But anyways, what I'm talking about, and yeah, make sure that they're not higher than 18% what they're getting, you know, and make sure that they are legit. And if after two weeks they suck ass, bye, or whatever, not two weeks, maybe give them some time. I don't know. But a lot of people have four or five dispatching services bidding for them at all times. I just had the one HIPPIX Logistics. That's all I did. Um... Because I was trying to create a good business relationship with them, and I did. And going to local was hard because it was, you know, I love them, but it is what it is. Because you know, but still, with this uh, industry, you got to do what's right. And for my kids, they were just not into me going further out with what's going on. I was gonna have to go further out. That's what I was gonna start doing. But that's what I wanted to do this video on is just seriously be careful out there. Um, understand that you are an owner operator and you need to look out for yourself because ain't nobody gonna look out for you they're gonna be looking out for them in their pocketbook um except hippix logistics honestly did care they wanted you to do good and there are places like the place i'm at with the local that i partnered with they want you to do good because if you ain't doing good you ain't gonna you ain't gonna stay but then there's the ones who just don't care they're just trying to make their quick money like little fiends me and my wife call certain brokers and stuff cats and you know, they're just like all oh, trying to get that money 
It's like, dude, just chill, bro. Like, they'll be like, uh, make sure the person signs the bill of lading really clear. It's like, dude, okay, you fiend. And dude, brokers who would call me all the time when I was over the road, I'd be like, bro, you need to get away from me, dude. It's going to get there on time. Leave me alone, bro. Um, little fiends. But like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification if you want to. If you don't want to, just be careful out there. That's all I'm saying. Uh, we got merch if you want it. It's just a cup and a shirt. I mean, the, the support would be awesome. But, you know, because a lot of people would be like, oh, you know, uh, I'll pay you this much. to. I give it all for free. It's like, no, you. I got merch and I got that little heart thing if you want to. But if you don't want to, I'm just glad you're rocking with me. I'm just here to help. That's my principle. Um, get the get the gas app up, uh, upside in the link in the description. It's a dope app. Um, everyone have a blessed day. And, oh, yeah, keep hustling. Be careful out there. Don't mess around. I work hard, I get paid, blue collar all day. I don't get tired, like Kevin Gates, sun up to sun down. I will always be this way. Redneck thugging, I was country made. Blue collars in my veins, blue collar to my grave.